are the internet? How are you guys doing? Hey everyone, what's going on? Kim and Chris back with another episode of Rambling Tea Time. Indeed, your indeed. favorite podcast to have over tea, our snacks, our pizza, which is considered both. Um, <laughs> you remember when I tried to make that a vegetable? Or people were claiming that it was a vegetable? Super ridiculous, yes. I have to say. But also, uh, but also, they did test afterwards oh that boy. said that pizza having like if you have pizza in in the in the morning uh-huh. like a pizza that has on vegetables oh, no and, shit. and not just not just <laughs> a meat cheese pizza and cheese right 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 but they said that that's healthier than giving your kids like cereal or having cereal yourself because okay. it's just sugar healthier does not obviously mean well, it, means, it does mean better. Technically means better, but it doesn't mean that the option that is pizza is a super fancy better option than Okay, sugar, but you, you know? would choose pizza over cereal. I would. As exactly. an adult, I would. Because I don't I don't well, we doesn't know the topic on that day, but cereal, I fucking hate it. Yeah, I think we've come to ha- not hate it. No no no. We sugar just, I mean yeah, yeah, sugar cereal is a snack. I, yeah, yeah. If I'm having if I'm eating cereal and i have cereal in the house that means i'm going to be eating it as a snack throughout the day if i need like a boost of sugar or something that's fine because that's what it's for because most cereals these days outside of anything that's like grain heavy or bran or whatever is goddamn sugar and i only have the teeth in my mouth and they already aren't exactly. the best shit. And that's why they say <laughs> the pizza, even if it's just a cheese pizza, like, you know, the the American pizza is apparently the pepperoni pizza. Ah, yeah. So even if it's just pepperoni pizza, you get the, the carbohydrates from the flour and what's the going bread. on there, uh-huh. the bread. You get the, I think they said it's like protein as well uh, i guess from the in, meat in the meat right you get some dairy and nice stuff as well and the grease I, for your heart <laughs> and kill yes you, you get the years. grease for your heart yes <laughs> but in there that's already more nutrition yes than just a bowl of cereal well you see cereal is normally something that you have like alongside with like you know um other stuff you're not really just supposed to eat cereal it's like cereal really? and then you maybe some piece of toast or maybe some really? bacon or whatever whenever you see um the ads right but it's part of a, a nutritious breakfast that's what is they that use what they say? cereal is it's supposed to be a part of your breakfast uh, cereal is not supposed to be just i think breakfast. no one got it? that message i mean some no people one. do but no one. when when you want something that's easy cheap and available you give the kids the fucking cereal because it gives them a boost of energy that they need in the morning. And it lasts just in time till lunch, I guess. It really doesn't, I uh, have to say. Yeah, a bowl of cereal. Cereal has never lasted me. It's never, no, never made me full enough. Like, not the portion size that they say you should have anyway. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is definitely part of a part breakfast. Because that is not enough. No. I had to pour like two more servings on top. You know how we do. Yes. That's why cereal, if cereal does come into the house, it's gone in two days. Yeah, because it's not, it's, 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 it's something you have alongside, like, I just ate lunch and I need some sugar. I'm going to get whatever cereal I have there and put it in a little bowl and just eat it while I'm like doing whatever I'm doing in the afternoon. You know, like that type of stuff. It's a side. It's not a main dish. In any case... Pizza is definitely the way to go. Uh. And yes, it was ridiculous to say that that should be a vegetable. But it was fun time. A I fun time know. when people thought that. And keeping in with things that are ridiculous. What? <clears throat> we previously spoke about and mentioned Fairy Tale. Remember Fairy Tale? Uh, the anime. Oh yes, yes. And yes. how their wizard powers, mm. their magic, it comes from 
their it's kind of like willpower magic yeah isn't it? yeah 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 so like more shonen shit exactly exactly the power of love the power of hate the i power won't of fight friendship. for my friends exactly Today we're going to be focusing on the power of friendship. Oh, friendship. Oh, uh, nakama. Oh God. Ore no nakama ga. You remember when that was a big deal, and whenever whoever was doing like the translate, I remember all, like back in the day when they before they had any places where you could watch um, anime proper. And people would put these scans on YouTube and the translation and stuff. And in front of every episode of One Piece, they'd be like, Nakama is means is not the same as friends. What? It is means Nakama is like a closer thing, but not exactly is family. Is it like Ohana means family? It's kinda of like that <laughs> shit. It was kinda of, <laughs> yeah. it was kind of like Milo that. and Stitch did it first. <laughs> Okay. They would always put it because they were all because they were always trying to be very specific and stuff. But I mean, Nakama just kind of boils down to close friends, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it'd be like this big paragraph. I think paragraph. we can boil it down maybe to even more to close friends who become like family. <sighs> I know, but they were. But all... that's still like close friends. Exactly. Like we just call just call it. Close friends. That's close, all it really was, friends. right? Because Very close friends. I remember at the time there were people who were like, no, you can't say that. You can't just translate Nakama as close friends and stuff. It was something that was just going on for like a while. And it's kind of like that same thing where people were like, oh, what's the, what's the, one, the, the one with um, Death Note? What about Death Note? <sighs> what did they do in Death Note? <laughs> The weird trans. I, I'm getting off topic with this, but the whole thing we're doing, we're like, um, thing means plan. What's it? What means plan? The word for plan in Japanese. I don't know. Keikaku? Yeah. They were like, K-. whenever light would say a la carte keikaku, right? There would be a little thing that Papa says, keikaku is Japanese for plan. But friendship. Yes, friendship. The power of friendship. Mm-hmm. I have. How do you feel about it? I like and dislike it. But why do you like it? Because in ensemble cast series or stuff, and it's a well-known trope for like ever and stuff like that, I like to see when groups of people work together to solve a plan. Teamwork? Or, I like teamwork. Teamwork I, doesn't equal friendship. I know, but I like when you can see characters progress to the point where their teamwork and trust and belief in one another isn't some is is second is is the instant. It is like that is the power of friendship I appreciate. When I actually see people working together to overcome something and to achieve a goal. I don't mm-hmm. mind that. The power of friendship that I hate that you see that's pretty tropified is the bad guy is like you don't have your friends now they're all gone friends mm-hmm. are terrible mm-hmm. they're useless and they can be used to harm you right and then the hero sitting by himself or whatever is like no my friends are here and you oh, see the shadows oh. all behind it, them like it's in his heart is there in their oh, heart like and they're so in the cute. sky or something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're here and then even though he's gotten his ass beat, he suddenly gets a boost of power to yeah. overcome said issue. I you don't see, like that either. You see, now that is where I have another personal issue with it. Because it's fine and it's cool sometimes to see your hero suddenly get a boost. Mm. You know, it's fine. In some sort of context, it's fine. But when you've seen it so many times, you begin to be like, I hate this troll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think in in theory, in writing... It can it be done well. It sounds great. It sounds great if it's written really well, I have yes, to say. It right? is. Right? Or the person had these flashbacks and they thought of la 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 and what all of that they went through. But when you see it, <laughs> when you actually see it on a TV show or whatever visual medium like that, it feels. It's, it's, sometimes it feels weak. Yeah. I don't know if that's because we've seen it so much, but I, I feel yeah, like from yeah. the beginning, it wasn't always a, a strong um, play. Hmm. <laughs> I think my biggest issue with it is that it's almost used as a, a 
a second win power up type of situation. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Either. I prefer really main character or characters or whatever are going in. But like, my friends might be dead, and things might be hard right now. But I'm gonna come for your fucking ass. Exactly. Right. If it's like that from the beginning, they have yeah. that belief and confidence and. And that mental fortitude from the beginning. Not that they were in the battle, they got knocked down, and then they remembered, or they had friends who, who were know, there with them. It's kind of like when they get knocked down, and then there's a 12 chapter flashback art of a character we never met, and yeah. they're like, or we met like briefly, but we didn't see this training art. Right, so right. They get and they were like now, super impactful. Or and something. then they died at the it's end like, of the What journey. the heck? <laughs> It's stuff like that that is irritating. Yeah. I don't think I hate the power of friendship at, at all. But I just when it dislike feels when like it feels a cheap. second thought. Yes, when it yeah. feels like a second yeah. thought. I just hate it when it feels very, very cheap. Like, I don't know. I don't, there are not really a lot of shonens that make it feel cheap nowadays. But I remember, like, uh-huh. does Fairy Tale even count as power friendship? They kind of do have decent is... teamwork type of stuff. Okay, okay. That's all about maybe not necessarily the power of friendship, but for, I don't know, love? <laughs> love <laughs> and friendship, though. Willpower magic. Their whole thing is that emotions fuel their magic. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, when they're fighting against the big bad and, and Lucy is there with Natsu and, and they remember, oh, we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they defeat the big bad and they're like super happy. Whoa. Uh, Friendship and love. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can't say, oh, you mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's the truth. Oh, my God. One Piece is the big... um. Nakama. Exactly. I have some good examples from One Piece where I did not dislike it. Okay, give us Do some. you remember when they went to save Nico Robin? I was going to bring that up because everybody oh bring that up. Oh my gosh. It was, I feel like it was emotional for us as well, yeah. the audience, because she cried and said that she wanted help, you know, and she like finally accepted that they were Nakama. Yeah, because, uh, oh because my god. It, in the sense, it, oh, it formed, for that one instance, because everybody had already accepted her. Yeah. But she still was uncertain yeah, yeah, of yeah. Where, who she was in this group yeah. of people. And the fact that they were like, we can, we can go against the goddamn world government for you, girl. Yeah. It don't give a oh damn. Oh my god, right? tears. <laughs> tears. <laughs> but yeah, because they've been traveling together and stuff. Uh, I mean... One Piece is about the friendship. I know. <laughs> One Piece is One Piece is the One you're Piece right. is the friend the you made along the way, kid. <laughs> if that is what it is in the end, it wow. isn't. It isn't. That would be isn't. ridiculous. Have you read the latest chapter as of this I time? haven't read oh. the most recent nah, fifty you. chapters, Christopher. I don't know what's going on. You and my friend. <sighs> Y'all need to catch up because I, I ain't got nobody to talk about the shit that going down. Well, let me talk about things in times past. So another example I remember is it's not necessarily an example, but he mm. does. Luffy does remember. Do you remember after Ace was oh, killed? Yeah, right. And when there were was it Shabondi and they got yes. separated? That was before. Okay, but Shabondi, you get what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Shabondi, they were separated. Mm-hmm. And then Impel down. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. Escaped. What's his name said to Luffy, um, who became a member later on? The fish guy whose name? Kimbe. Jimbe. 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 <laughs> Jimbe. Jimbe said to Luffy, um, you know, not to like give up. He gave him a whole like thing. He laughed after slapping him and, you know, basically <laughs> tell him to, you know, get yourself together. And and Luffy has this whole like cry out and he says, I still have my Nakama. Yeah. And that was wonderful as well. Yes. That was a good I think that is a good example of the whole friendship. It not not as a a power boost, mm. but to remember that you're not alone. Yes. And I think that is why we see power of friendship type stuff in any sort of media all the time. Because humans are social creatures. Right. 
And they found that if you have healthy friend relationships, like over time and three years, having bonds with people actually is good for your well-being. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a ton of friends. It is really quality over quantity. Right, right. Like I have extremely few friends. And because of where we've lived and stuff like that, I have not been able to see a lot of them in person for years but Mm -hmm. i still consider them true friends and we still talk like every single day i see you see keeping those relationships with people that you trust just being able to rant to people about just stuff and just oh i consider you a good friend little sister yes you are counted in my friend group you know because okay i mean the reason why I'm saying this is because you can be related to somebody, brother and sister, but you're not friends. Mm-hmm. Like, that happens to a lot of people. They don't consider their close family friends. But the fact that I can have you and a few other people as in my friend group and people that I can trust and talk and stuff is a boon to me as a person. I think there's something that you shouldn't forget, though, or that you shouldn't disregard Yes, it's good to have that group of people Mm -hmm. that you've had for a really long time. But you should also go out of your way to make more friends. Exactly. You don't have to limit yourself to just the people that you already know. Yes, making new friends is something that I do try to do all the time. Like, not always work out. But, hey, I like meeting new people. Same. You know, I like hearing from different peoples where they are, what they're going through, their lives and stuff. It's always interesting to have multiple perspectives. And you never know, like, what chance encounter of a person will lead to a long-lasting relationship. Exactly. You know? So, I think, I, I enjoy the power, the power of friendship in that sense, I think, is is why we see it so often. Because... It is so integral. I have a question for you, though, before that. Go. Cool. How does the power of friendship affect you daily? As a person? Well, like I said before, it's just it's just good to have people to talk to sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. the, the way how the world is changing and twisting, it's just good to have people to talk to. Because it's very easy, even in this day and age of, like, social media and everybody's online, to feel very isolated and, like, alone, you know? It's and... good that you brought that up. I have another point, but continue. Okay, but, yeah, but it's the whole... is It's just... Just being able to, like, talk to people about anything mm-hmm. or just things that you are willing to, like, share about yourself and just, like, get some stuff off your chest because nothing is more suffocating than feeling that you don't have a voice to share or just like you just nothing like just that you're quiet you're just alone you're isolated that can that can destroy you Mm -hmm. and when your mental state and is in such a like turmoil and stuff and you just can't get certain things off of your chest or whatnot it, it can affect you physically you know so i think healthy friend relationships is one of the things that people should strive strive towards you know it helps me just having people to talk to sometimes or randomly or whatever we could talk about games we could talk about stuff we see in the media stuff that we watch and just sometimes I, we are just in a call mm-hmm. and nobody's saying anything but then all of a sudden somebody says something and then that goes off into another conversation mm-hmm. and then we're quiet again just just being in proximity and just knowing that uh, somebody else is there on the other end and can listen and might be able to talk about something at any time is wonderful. Okay. Speaking of social media like you did, do you think that online friends count? Yes. Because there are people who will say no, no if you don't meet the person in person face okay. to face that you guys aren't really friends i understand that belief mm-hmm. in that because the same social media type stuff and online communities and things like that also seem to breed the, the same isolation and loneliness that a lot of people are feeling these days mm-hmm. right i have been on forums 
for years. I've always been a person who I was both online and offline with my friend groups. Mm -hmm. I've been on forums for many years, multiple different game groups, different places on just completely different places with different people. Okay. And my greatest friend group is a group of people that I met online about seven years ago Mm -hmm. for a game I played and we were in an IRC group. Uh, which is like a completely different chat relay type thing. Mm -hmm. And we still talk together to this day on Discord. We moved the group from IRC to Discord and we've all known each other for, yeah, seven, eight years going now. I have not met these people in real life. But you'd say that I consider them good friends. Oh, okay. We've done a few voice chats sort of one another. We we talk constantly each day. The chat is I'm always in. I'm all that group of people is whenever I get new friends or whether or not I know I'm talking to other people. I invite them to that group because there's a whole bunch of people from all over the world there, and we talk about a whole bunch mm-hmm. of different things. You know, so to me, I disagree with the notion that friends are the only people that you meet in IRL and have you can have social interaction with people online I I know it's difficult and as somebody who probably grew up in this in time. this thing it's yeah. very easy for me to like grab on and to meet people and just instantly like just true words or just true sound and speaking to someone mm-hmm. easily become friends with people for years is is easier is easy for me but I do believe that you can consider that your friends that you have online or whatever are true friends. If you trust those people and those people can trust you and you all can talk reliably and easily together about a multitude of whatever you want to talk about, those are friends. I agree with that as well because in the end, whatever friendship is, is about how you form it. Mm -hmm. The friendship, you need to be able to, like you just said, Talk to people about certain things. Mm-hmm. Get along, people. Just be jovial. But just getting along isn't it either. Because exactly. friendship doesn't mean that there's no strain or that stuff isn't going on. And you guys don't agree or anything mm-hmm. like that. But it means <coughs> even if you do have differing opinions, mm-hmm. or even if you hate each other for a <laughs> moment, you're still going to be there. Yeah. And that, I want to bring up another point. Um... Attaching to what you said earlier, where you said sometimes y'all are just in a call. Yeah. Or sometimes people are just in a room Mm -hmm. and no one is saying anything. But it's the presence of people that is felt that makes you feel not alone. Yes. And there's this song that I like. It's called Silence. Mm. And it's it's a love song, but I think that the the feeling is the same. The lyrics go, I knew that I was lo- in love with you when we sat in silence. Mm. And I like that song because I feel like for any, any relationship that is meaningful to someone, that will be able, or that could happen. Mm-hmm. And just because people aren't talking or necessarily interacting directly with each other, doesn't mean that they aren't, you know, they don't have a healthy relationship. Exactly. The bond could be at its strongest. Yeah. You know, just the presence, feeling the presence of people and knowing that there is another person out there, like across the couch (laughs) or across the internet, you know, across the world, wherever, who gets you. I think it's really, is it heartening? Anyway, do you think there are any disadvantages to the use of this in media? The power of friendship? Yeah. Um, most of the time, it's like the biggest advantage, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> it's like the biggest advantage. The more friends you have, the more likely, if you have enough friends... You can have them all attack a mini boss so that you wow. can go and fight the main boss. Like okay, one that's piece. not really the power of friendship. That's the power of numbers. <laughs> yes, yes. That's why the more friends you have, the better. Okay, but everyone's feelings aren't going to be strong enough. I, uh, psh, the amount you said this earlier. Uh-huh, the amount doesn't always matter. It's, the quality. Yeah. Exactly. Quality over quantity 
Um, I've never, I've rarely seen um the power of friendship used as an actual like negative in a few media stuff. I see. Outside of like people's relationships breaking down because of like differing opinions in whatever series you're reading, but I don't know if that's concept. That probably the, the that's not power of friendship anymore. Maybe the bad guys manipulating the entire the friends or something like that. Oh, mm, I guess that could work. <laughs> Technically, but... he he's he's taking advantage of the power of friendship. Mm. Basically, is what yes. you're saying. Yes, I don't know how, but brainwashing. Probably, but most of the time that gets solved, and then the person becomes the friend for real. It's the same thing as the whole former villain, bet new friend trope that happens uh, a lot yeah. as well. That uh, is yeah, extremely yeah, yeah, yeah. common. <laughs> this evil bad guy who killed a whole bunch of people mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. attacked our village and killed people. But there's a new one and our best friend today. And Orochimaru has a child and he still lives <laughs> in the fucking village. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But, but Neji died for the power of freaking friendship. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, or ay, the ay. most common example, I guess, is um, Vegeta from DBZ. It's that she, it was a villain. Killed people. Wanted to blow up the planet. Um, ends up becoming a loving husband and mm-hmm. father, mm-hmm. <laughs> and literally hates his former past self for what he actually represented. <sighs> Died for his beliefs Here's in his the thing. family. Here's the thing. We, I think, sometimes we tend to love to hate those characters yes. who are bad and had this transformation. Like we think that people in real life can't change. Yeah. And maybe that's not the greatest standpoint to take (laughs) on it. But, you know, when you see someone who has done lots of horrible stuff, you just, even if they do change and they they have a reckoning and an awakening and you're just like, man, I don't know. I still hate you. Yeah. (laughs) It's, it's. It's, it's very hard. Like, people say people change, and you, everybody deserves a second yeah, chance. Yeah, maybe if we were robots, we'd take it smoother, like, because we don't have any emotions or feelings. Like, yeah, sure, a person did their time, you know, and uh, they paid the price for whatever they what did. What did they do? Depends on what their crime was. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I That's the truth. I will you depending on what your crime was. That is the truth. If you're sane that you're going to um, release a rapist to live in my neighborhood, which I know, (laughs) um, or should I say a child rapist, let's Uh, make it real specific, a pedophile, and you're housing them back in in my neighborhood, and there's lots of kids around here. It's required law for them to let people know that they were in jail. I know that, I know that. Um, But I also think that they they can't be within, like, like like several miles miles of like schools and parks and yes. stuff like that where families and children are as well. But you just you get what I'm saying, yeah. right? It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, everybody deserves a second chance. Sure. Where did that Asterix. even come from? I don't know, man. Probably some some person who needed a belief. second chance <laughs> or wanted one. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I just I don't believe in that. It's because we've seen. The goodness of others literally abused by yeah. those in power yeah. over time. That is like you, you, your, your heart. Like, like in the Bible, my favorite part is when um, Pharaoh's heart hardened. hardened. I know you were gonna say that. I know you were gonna say <laughs> right? that, right? Because he was like, "Nah, fuck the Israelites." Exactly. You know, it's so, like we can only take so much only take until so we much. put up the walls. And you refuse to be like, yeah, that man might have committed a crime. And yeah, he went to jail and then he came out because he paid his time. But you're like, it's like hesitant. In, would it, in would you my trust? mind and, and lots of other people's mind, I'm sure that the prison sentence and time served doesn't even, it doesn't equal 
It depends. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. Even <laughs> if it's for a long period of time, the length of time doesn't matter uh, because sometimes the crime is so grotesque and and just you can't get over some things. Yeah, uh, even though time passes, we as people don't easily forgive. Exactly. You know. It's yeah. really difficult I think to forgive. It does why sometimes when you see how quick characters are ready to like take a bad guy who was an enemy onto their side so quick, you're like, hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? It is just like this man was just literally trying to kill you and know y'all's friends. You know what it makes you do? What? It makes you it makes you pause the episode that you're 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 watching you like and then you start talking to the screen you're like seriously are you kidding me do you forget everything that this person did he killed your they entire killed your father clan. in front of you with a knife to the throat and then went over to your baby sister and just cut all of her limbs off in front of you are you Serious. This sounds incredibly accurate. Did you it see isn't. this? In the There's <laughs> nothing like this. I'm like making this up to just, you know, exaggerate yeah. some of the stuff that they yeah, do. Yeah. And then you're like, after one big battle you have, and then you're all like, you I know, did it we for can a be reason. Nakama. Let's, mm. you know, I knew that your heart would change and shit or, or whatever happened. I would beat you with the power of friend. I think that is probably like. <sighs> Goodness. Shonen stuff is very quick. Well, if we're just talking about anime and manga, uh, sometimes it feels like the characters are very quick to forgive, which is I don't know. It's an inherently Japanese thing. Cause, uh, I don't know. Because, but I've seen it in other stuff too. But sometimes the protagonists make the wrong decision. I like. <laughs> yeah. I, what I do like. Human. I like the point where. Or whatever they are. When they forget, or know. they like accept the bad guy and then they get betrayed anyways by the bad guy. I like that type of rubbing, you know, rubbing your nose and shit type of thing. Wake yeah, up yeah, yeah. So characters. that the rest of your actual nakama and the audience can say, "Told you so." No shit, Sherlock. It's like where, where was your brain? Where was it? <laughs> where Went was on brain? like a vacation or something? I don't know. Stuff like that kind of annoy me, but In friendship. Case, friendship. It is a good thing to have. I love it. Except for when they betray you. I have never what about been when betrayed. They betray you? We haven't spoken about that. Betrayal? What about this? Okay. You have a friend, a good friend. Mm-hmm. You consider them your close friend. Your nakama. <laughs> your ohana. You hear me? <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all from the time y'all was what is what is called them bosom friends, right? Bosom Which means friends. that your parents, y'all had been born like in the same year, went the same kindergarten, that yeah, all yeah, kind yeah, of thing, yeah, grew yeah. up together, same neighborhood, everything. Uh-huh. You understand? And and somewhere along the line, something just switches for your friend, uh-huh. and they just betray you. Betray yeah. me how? Like steal a girlfriend know. or something like that. Oh, if we're talking real world, I guess that would be plausible. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I've never, <clears throat> truthfully, I've never been in a situation where any of the friends over the course of my life, I've ever felt that somebody, like, betrayed me or, like, did me. Did, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where a person I considered a close friend or family betrayed me. Okay. Or did something like I don't. I hope I've never had to experience it. You're planning nothing funny, right, Kim? I always tell you not to trust. Me, <laughs> so <laughs> what the hell? But I've never actually been. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like extremely betrayed by somebody that you considered like friends or family or anything? I like know that? I'm the one that asks this question, but yeah. I can't really think of anything either. I I mean, I've gotten upset at like maybe friends or. A bit, a bit, Maybe in a, a, a quarrel or whatever thing. But, I mean, that happens. Yeah. You know, you argue with people, even your friends and family over sometimes nebulous. I mean, we've had tons of no-nothing bullshit fights over the course Mostly of years. Mostly because you're silly and a jerk. Okay. That's, that's, that you're silly and a jerk. But anyhow. As well. But <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt like, wow, you've crossed the goddamn line to the point where I want your head. Okay, since we're saying that we're so great and have great lives, <laughs> what about um, 
in medium. Media. Hmm. Betrayal in media. Of a close friend. Hmm. It's gonna take. I'm not sure. Anything I've seen. Oh. What? I guess something that I've read and I actually caught up on. Um. Hoseki no Kuni, Land of the Lustrous, Kingdom of the Gems. Uh huh. In all the all those titles, uh, the main character kind of actually is the person who betrays like a whole bunch of their friends at a certain point, and everybody is kind of like, because they seduced other characters to also betray the others. I see. So it's like the group is split in half, and they took half of them with them, mm-hmm. and. The other characters are now kind of dealing with that follow as well. It's kind of strange to see that the person commits the betrayal is actually the protagonist of the actual series in a way. Mm. So it's not that the the character themselves already kind of feels the reason why they did it was because there was information that they didn't know. And the only way that they could see an actual out for their people is if they committed a betrayal. Okay, so in a so... way, they're committing the betrayal to actually tr- to what they think would save even the rest of them. The story is still trying to justify. I, I am. I have not finished right, read right. it, and I'm literally this literally like happened a few chapters of what I'm reading currently. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if that works out because. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel the main character themselves are also going to get screwed over soon or mm. not enough. I feel like because the way how the story has been going is that whenever something good happens to them, mm-hmm. something terrible happens afterwards. So I'm expecting them to get themselves betrayed. So what about Berserk? <sighs> the most. Man, Berserk. So that berserk, was a betrayal, berserk, right? Man. Of friend Shippu. The moment Guts left Griffith, Griffith went downhill. He went, sleep with that girl, gang trouble, get tried in prison. Then he came out, and then he was like, I'm going to sacrifice all of my friends to become a god. Then I'm going to rape Casca because I'm a prick. You no, know, I actually haven't <sighs> read it, but I basically know the story Berserk of Berserk. Is, yeah, it's um, continuing actually now that you right, should mention it. Yeah, and but that was... he showed up again and like okay, okay, just... but that was yeah. You you considered that right? A, I a friendship betrayal. When I read Berserk when I was younger, mm-hmm. it was one of the funny, funny things. Is it was one of the first thing manga things that I actually read. I. Do not think you should read Berserk as one of your first things, even though people were it's like... It's too strong. It's not that it's too strong. <laughs> it's just like, it's not like a, in my opinion, not something that you introduce people to unless they... It's too strong. Yeah. Just okay. say that. But I was like, I think 15, and I was... Not ready for the roller I was, coaster. I was in manga, watching anime, but mm-hmm. I wasn't really super, super into like stuff, and I remember somebody suggesting me read Berserk. And I got to the Eclipse, which is called... And I've never felt like I felt so sick. Can like, I tell I've you never what felt. Well, you probably you also weren't at an age where you were in tune with certain feelings like, either. I was just I just felt so. I never I've never felt more disgusted mm-hmm. with a fictional character mm-hmm. over what they did to like everybody that they con- that literally considered him a leader a mm-hmm, friend mm-hmm. somebody close somebody you could trust yeah. somebody who would who would go out of the way for you you know mm. i felt betrayed i know i know you know like what the actual fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> you know wow i know that i got some assholes who's be like Griffith did nothing wrong. I'm like, I'll fight you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking fight you. You said that in my face. I'll find you. I'll fight you. You thought wow. Griffith did nothing wrong? But yeah, yeah okay. you are I right. Have, I have that a is, question. I have yeah. a question. Yeah. I know that everything is not over and like you said, it's continuing. Yes. Do you think that the betrayal of friendship yeah. can be forgiven? No. <laughs> 
In Berserk, no, it literally can't. It cannot <laughs> okay, be forgiven. So, okay, okay. Maybe we should be. This is a whole different. Um, yeah, probably, video, but, but <laughs> no, Griffith can't be forgiven. No, fuck Griffith. Don't Whoa. like. No, there's no. <laughs> you can't. Like, you're not gonna get a. Uh, maybe what he did was good for humanity because he's pretty much trying to. No, screw him. Uh huh. Okay. This bullshit. Okay. Fuck off. Okay. Okay. So. Was there another way that Griffith could have gone about everything he did to, to, to achieve, rather, why everything he did? Is there another way besides causing all the carnage? Griffith, whatever Griffith has achieved was not born out of him wanting, having an ideal of being something, being a, a better and helping other people. Mm-hmm. Everything that was, was born he? off of was was just Spite? was greed. Greed. Okay. It was greed. So the power of greed. The power of fucking <laughs> greed. So it's another thing. It is like saying that okay, the politician gets rich, uh-huh. but everything that he's done is he's made his city a better place. It's a it's a good place. Whatever. It's a, the economy is booming or mm-hmm. whatever. But at the end of the day. He's still getting super rich off your back because of these shady deals that he did with the companies I and stuff see, in the see. background. And so what? Everything looks nice and whatever. At the end of the day, it wasn't the well-being of people or citizens that mm-hmm. he cared about. Mm-hmm. It was greed and and money. It wasn't anything to do. So, yeah, that's how I feel about Griffith. Okay. No matter what good he may or may not do in the future, it all ties back to that you fucked over a whole bunch of... Is the, is the trolley problem bullshit? You know the trolley problem? Where it's like, would you rather run right. over yeah, yeah, this group of people and save, and or save, save this one person or save this or one save person all, right, right, and, right. Or versus whatever? The way the trolley problem works for Griffith is he runs over the first four people and the trolley loops back around and he runs over the last person in the other <laughs> lane. That's how it works for him. It's not a problem. It's not man. a problem. He it's was just... always going to yes! kill everyone. <laughs> yes! It's not a problem. That's how it works. Uh, I mean, it's just another perspective. And... <laughs> That is the you know, that's the funny thing is they probably had one of the best friendships in the goddamn entire series. Mm. But you see, that is you brought up. Okay, you, calm you did down. It. Okay, you did we, it. we can go. That's okay, truly calm the down, one, calm down. the one friendship that, that was right. betrayal. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We're you, going to move on from the. You got me antsy now. You're talking about dessert. <laughs> is your fault? Let's move on <laughs> to our conclusion. Uh-huh. Do we have a conclusion? Conclusion is that. Find good friends. Mm-hmm. You don't need to find a million, million friends. Right. Truly find people that you can get along with. It doesn't matter who or what they are. If you can find true friendships, it it will be a boon to your existence. Right. People who will be there in times when you need them to be. Yes. Sometimes... All you need is just somebody to talk to, especially in this day and age. Sometimes you just want to talk to someone. Yeah. You know? Or just rant to somebody. Or just have someone to enjoy and share maybe something that you both like, you know? Sometimes that's all you need. I agree. So, yeah. Go out there and find you friends who won't betray you like Griffith from Berserk. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Okay. Calm down. (laughs) Okay, I mean the characters are not real. You need to. They're they, real to they, me, I, damn it! No, 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 no. When a person feels overly invested, I say in things like, are, like, okay, I'll use myself an example. Yeah, my when I realize that I'm overly invested in something that is fictional, oh my god, I, I, I stop myself and I say, okay, let's pull back a little bit because. I am feeling a whirlwind of of emotion. That's the whole point of fiction. It is, it is. But sometimes you have to um, come back to reality and not lose yourself in that world for the moment. 
No, you have to do that, Christopher. Know. Come on, you can't be there the entire time. I'm not there the entire okay, time. Okay, okay. I wasn't left at the eclipse for 15 okay, years. Or okay, okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, our conclusion is to make friends that will be there for you, not people that will betray. And you. you yourself also be a good friend to exactly, those who you exactly. make friends with. You know, it's a two-way street. Indeed. All right, guys. Have a good night. I hope you guys enjoyed. See everyone.